Today I'm going to talk about the new feature we are releasing in October called predictive work duration. This feature consists of three out of box Power BI reports in field service. They are upcoming work duration, territory duration, and the resource duration. This feature predicts the duration of a booking using artificial intelligence in order to increase scheduling efficiency and utilization. Let's look at the business value. Today, dispatchers assign a fixed duration for a job type regardless of various factors that may lengthen or shorten the work order. This can potentially cause cascading delays or low utilization, reducing the effectiveness of schedules. With this AI capability, this feature predicts the duration for a given booking or a requirement based on various factors like resource performance, incident type, customer location, territorial differences, etc. Basically, the AI models learns from the historical booking completion time to compute a realistic duration. It also provided a blended proficiency score for territories and incident types based on the completion times and allows dispatchers and service managers to drill down to a detailed information for different technicians across incident types. This helps dispatchers easily identify the right technician for a given job at a customer uh, location. As I said earlier, this feature is available for a preview by October 2020. So first thing is we need to see how we can set it up. So let's get into the demo. So you come to field service and then come to the field service settings where you will find out analytics and insights. If you click settings, so here the predictive work duration preview feature that we are uh, enabling this uh, time period. And if you click here, like learn more, it will take you to the documentation where you will understand reports and the metrics we are using, how the AI being calculated and all other details related to this feature. Now, how you can enable it, just click manage. So if you come to manage, where by default it will be disabled, so you have to click enable. Since I'm already enabled for the demo, that's why you will see it as enabled. And also, you will see an important configuration here, which is called minimum number of resources in a territory. So I will explain like a little bit on why we have and how it has been like added here. So for example, we are able to look at like a territory level metrics, and especially in a territory metrics, let's say a territory has only like two resources, and providing a metrics, a service manager can easily identify who the two people are doing it. So there are certain restrictions by our legal guidance. So the admin can set, for example, five. Anybody who has five or less number of resources on a specific territory, they don't see any AI-related data. They can see the number of work orders, bookings got completed, but they don't see any AI-related information. So that's the reason that we have this. Please look at documentation for more details on it. Now let's look at this. You enabled it. After you enabled it for the first time, it will take 24 hours to get the reports ready. Basically, it will run all the AI models and it will pull all the BI data. And we are providing an AI and BI report for the three uh, features, the three items that we talked about. So let's look at it. So the first one, um, so you come out here under resource, you will see here analytics and insights and reports, predictive duration and resource duration. The reports is something that you are already familiar with. This is about the resource and utilization, so which is you already have seen it. And uh, um, now predictive duration. In predictive duration, you have upcoming work duration and territory duration. Let's talk about what is an upcoming work duration. So this is a specific to the dispatcher persona. So the dispatcher come and see, hey, the next seven days, what are the bookings I had? And if you look at this particular booking, I see that scheduled allocated is seven hours and 30 minutes, but the predicted is eight hour 50 minutes. So there is almost an hour and 20 minutes more. And if I look at the conference, you know, I'm saying like six, the AI is saying that 60% that this is going to happen. So let's see what is the predicting factors, why this is, I mean, you know, increasing like an hour and 20. So if you look at it here, Blue Yonder Airlines is increasing, increasing the duration by about 64 minutes. Oh, okay, so this is going to be get increased by 64 minutes. And also Bob Kozak is a technician 
who is increasing the duration by about 30 minutes. So primarily, like we see the particular um, customer is taking a longer time. So as a dispatcher, what I can do here is I'll actually go to the booking. And you'll see here seven and a half hours. So I can actually change the time to 10. So now I got like around nine hours. So I can just like save and close here. So this way, that particular booking has been taken care. Of, so we actually save any impact which are um, scheduled right after to the next, uh, uh, right after this job. So this way, um, the dispatcher has the ability to look at it each day's scheduled bookings and how he can actually add or um, he can save time. For example, some of them it can be uh, done like earlier, so he can also you know go ahead and like assign a additional booking for that particular resource. Similarly, like bookings, we also have unscheduled requirements where you will see similar. So between this time period, so what is the uh, requirement ID and how long it will take more? Let's say this one is actually less, and I'm really confident on like 51 percentage, so I can actually save like 30 minutes for that particular technician who has been assigned. So with that said, the dispatcher can actually do a very efficient scheduling um, by uh, <clears throat> making the change. Today, as you see, that's it's primarily like we are doing manual, but in the future that we will add this like natively embed into our scheduling experience so that it will automatically be taken care of. So with that said, now let's move on to um, um, <clears throat> the territory duration. So before I move on, I also want to sh show as I said here, there is the seven day window here and also you can slice and dice by either a territory uh, type or you can slice and dice by the incident type. So let's move on to the territory duration here. As a service manager, I want to come and look at the performance of overall the performance for all the territory here. And if you look at the duration, the duration, let's say three months, six months, let, let me choose like how it works for like the six months. And in here, um, now I have the data for the six months. And as I said, I can slice and dice by incident type and territory. And if I want to do a specific customer, yes, I can do by a specific customer. And overall, what this data shows us in the last six months, we have around like 15 resources and they have completed around 1,186 bookings, uh, out of which 700 are overestimated bookings and 483 are underestimated bookings. And if you look at the proficiency score, which is 41, so what that says here is only 41 out of 100 jobs are completed on time. The remaining almost 59, which is taking additional time. And you can clearly see here, hey, you know, most of the booking durations is taking time. So me as a service manager, I need to go and find out why it is taking time and how I can actually make a change or how I can help the territory to do a better performance. And you can also see like when which customers is taking higher time. So let's look at it. So here is the list of territories. Let's say I pick up, let's say I pick up a Spokane County here. Let's say when I pick a Spokane, a Spokane County, and here is the list of incident types that the Spokane County is doing it. So when I go over here, let's see which one is taking higher and line connection last. So line connection last is basically, um, if you look at the proficiency score, it's only like 20 out of 100 is happening on time. The remaining 80 were like not happening. And if you look at the confidence, I'm really confident about like 70, 69% that this is happening. And why it's happening, if you look at the proficiency factors, it can be increased by about 16 um, in three of six days of a week. It means, so in, this, in the sixth day, um, let's say they have a six day schedule. In that three of three days, it's actually getting increased. So with that, I can see, hey, you know what? Since it's around like only 20 um, um, score, like 20% that were like we are able to complete, the 80% it's happening uh, always uh, extra time. So what I can do here is maybe I can go to this particular incident type and I can actually see add additional 20 minutes. So that way I'm able to fix with that. I am able to help like the Spokane County where they can able to finish uh, the jobs on time without impacting the other customers. So with that, you will see the service manager can look at the territory 
but how I can see, uh, you know, how the resources are doing it. Similar like territory duration, something called a resource duration. And in the resource duration, um, you see here the duration is exactly like last three months, six months, and uh, one year and two year. Let's say I choose exactly like six months. And here with this resource, I'm able to slice by an incident type and territory. I can also slice by the incident, uh, sorry, the skill <coughs> and the rating. So if you see over here, as I said, it's similarly 1,186 bookings and out of which how many of are estimated and under, underestimated similarly. But let me choose here. Um, here are the list of incident type metrics where I can, I can let's say I can check like power fluctuation. So if I do power fluctuation, what I can see here is the proficiency score is 11. What that means is that only 11 out of 100 were able to complete on time. The remaining 89 is always as a challenge. So let me look at it for power fluctuation. There were three resources who are working really uh, uh, most of the work out of 114. I see Ashley has done 68, uh, Jalen is 40, and Bob has like six. Let me look at Ashley and uh, how she is doing here. So if I look at Ashley's, uh, uh, the area of incident type, like what she's working on, so you will see over here, there is a power fluctuation and then insulation. So in power fluctuation, you'll see Ashley were able to, she has completed around 68, but out of 68, only 10 of them that she were able to complete on time, the remaining 90% um, <clears throat> is not on time so but if you look at it she's doing a really great job in installation so how i can help ashley so it can be um, because of because if you see over here it's increased by about 20 in two of six customers so i can go and look at the customers why this particular for fluctuation is taking additional um time and that's that's why like you'll see the proficiency score is um, very less here or i can actually go ahead and give some training to uh, uh, Ashley so that you know Ashley can do a better job in the power fluctuation incident type. So by getting the data, AI data that I mean, you know, how that we are actually doing overall based on the history. So we can actually take a, um, we can actually take a, a measure and see how we can help um, the uh, overall resources. So with that said, um, these reports will help uh, dispatchers to easily identify the outliers and service managers to understand the territory and the resource performance, which helps to provide better service to their customers.